Hello, my name's Ben Welsh, and I'm coming to you from the LA Times Newsroom. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the SigWin terminal application on Microsoft Windows. SigWin is an alternative command prompt to the standard built-in one that comes with Windows. And a command prompt is a place where you can issue commands directly to your operating system to tell it what to do. All right, if you go to your start menu and type in CMD, you can see the default one that comes with Windows which is known as the command prompt. It works fine, and there's nothing really wrong with it, but if you're working with uh, Unix-like systems and computer programming scripts like uh, Python and other programming languages, it can be nice to have something that's better suited for those. And SigWin fits the bill. So in this video, we're going to go to the website, sigwin.com. We're going to download the SigWin installer, run it, and then verify it's working. All right, ready, let's go. I'm gonna to go to my browser, Google Chrome, and I've already visited sigwin.com, which has an unusual spelling, C-Y-G-W-I-N.com. Go there, and in the upper left-hand corner, click on Install Sigwin. There you'll see links to two downloads. We are gonna download the second file which is for the 64-bit version of Windows, which is a technical term you don't need to totally understand. But if you have a computer made in the last few years, you almost certainly have a 64-bit in installer. If in this process you run this installer and it doesn't go, you should come back and try the 32-bit one. But I'm just going to presume that most everyone listening here has a 64-bit computer, and so I'm going to say download this link right here, the second one down the page, which is called setup x86 underscore 64.exe. All right, that file, which I've already downloaded, will go to your downloads folder. You can see mine here. So once it's downloaded, do what I just did, navigate to where you download files, and double-click the setup file. Windows will ask if it's okay to install the program. Uh, the answer is yes, so go ahead and click Run. You may be prompted for your system password. That's okay. This program is safe. Go ahead and install it. Now you'll be given, like with other programs, a series of panels where Windows will ask you to configure your installation and give you information about the process. In the case of SigWin, we can accept all of the defaults that Windows offers. So I'm just going to very quickly click through all of these dialogs. You may be asked to pick a mirror, which is a place to download SigWin from. You can pick really any of them, and it'll probably work. And then you'll, you'll wait as a number of files are downloaded and put on your computer. All right. It'll then ask if you'd like to make an icon on the desktop or the start menu. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and do both. And then hit finish. All right. So now that is created, as you can see here on my desktop, a SigWin terminal icon. And it should also be available from the start menu if I type in SigWin. Go ahead and double click on the desktop icon or do the search as I did and open the program. You should now see a terminal application looking a lot like the command prompt one we saw before. But unlike that program, this one will accept Unix or Linux style commands, much like an Apple computer will as well. I'm going to size up the terminal by hitting Control plus in combination several times in a row. Hopefully you can now see what I'm typing. Just to give an example of some of the simple commands that are now available, there's one called Who Am I, which prints out the name of the current user, and another one called PWD, which prints out the present working directory, which is where SigWin is currently operating. By default, SigWin creates its own private folder structure where it stores its files. But your standard computer and C drive is available as well. One handy trick that you'll need to know is if you want to navigate to your standard folders on your computer, you can, you can just type C, cd for change directory space c colon and hit enter and now you've moved to, to your, your my computer's c drive we can test that by typing in ls to list all the files and folders which you can see my files and folders here now if i click into the finder and click on computer and then the c drive we can see that the same folders here are on the terminal and we've navigated to this position all right now you've done it. You've installed SigWin. Congratulations.